Our John Keller has more on a powerful source in our state's employment, plus how this market basket battle is going political. Good morning. Thanks for sharing part of your weekend with us. You know, union workers may account for only about 15% of the workforce here in Massachusetts, but organized labor continues to be not just a potent political force, I would argue perhaps the most potent political force in state politics. So it's always informative to talk with the president of the Massachusetts AFL-CIO, former state senator Stephen Tolman. Mr. President. John, it's great to be with you. Good to have you here as always, sir. So. Does the AFL-CIO support what market basket workers are doing and the call for a customer boycott of the chain until former CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis is reinstated? Well, I would say unequivocally that we do support the process, the workers, their spirit. Um, I don't know, I, I didn't hear that there was actually a boycott. We were saying don't go there, but I know that leaders, we have a lot of affiliates. 160 state legislators here and in New Hampshire have signed a petition. There's a boycott. Uh, urging people to boycott the chain till it's resolved. Here. It's a no-brainer, John. It's a no-brainer. In fact, the Massachusetts AFL-CIO in our constitution, we, we, we are the voice of all workers, those organized and those not yet organized, but leaders all we have 70 board members and so many of our leaders have taken active roles in standing with these people not for any ulterior motive but to tell them how proud we are that they are standing up against an injustice and standing for everything we stand for well speaking of standing up or not as the case might be what do you make of the way our two u.s senators including champion of the working person elizabeth warren and governor deval patrick have refused to join the boycott call avoided the rallies and generally avoided extensive comment on the situation well i would think on in their particular positions maybe they're involved in a lot of other issues and maybe they just have other people like for certainly they see enough supporters there and sometimes Everybody thinks everybody has to weigh in. The most important thing is, is that the working people's organization is standing with these workers and letting them know that we are going to help them. We're going to help their strike fund. We are going to do everything we can because they're standing up against an injustice, against everything that's really wrong with corporate America. Has there been a sentiment uh, within your union? Uh, or um, uh, perhaps expressed in some way to these political figures that because Market Basket is a non-union shop, however philosophically you might agree with them, kind of back off? No, no, there really hasn't been. In fact, we have a meeting tomorrow, John. We have our executive board meeting, and it'll be a topic of all of us collectively meeting. Okay. And I know that we will be hopefully coming together in a consensus to have some type of solidarity and support to show bigger... A public statement of some kind. Well, I mean, we've, we've had the public statements. We absolutely concur with the workers in this situation. Okay. Here's a company, John, that Forbes says is the 127th most uh, largest private uh, company in America. Right. They're had a four and a half billion, more than four and a half billion dollars in sales. The employees are well taken care of. Everything works. Why do you want to blow it up? I, I, I guess I just don't get it. I mean, uh, Governor Patrick in 2009 didn't hesitate when the Hyatt Hotels, also a private privately held family business fired a hundred of their housekeeping workers uh, he was threatening to pull state business from Hyatt hotels if they didn't rehire the workers yet he he has zero to say about this what do you well, make of it well I did hear him say that as a governor because I was at a press conference I heard him say that you know I can't get involved in every private business matter and the point is John this is big though well this is very big but you know what there's a lot of people involved in it, and, you know, the governor has chosen to focus on what he's focused on. Look what he's doing on substance abuse. Most importantly, working with the legislature, big issue. So you give him a pass for taking a walk on because this. Because we're doing it, John. People okay. are standing with these workers. The governor is busy. U.S. senators are busy. And so, ultimately, if they were needed, I would think they'd raise to, rise to the occasion. All right, we'll take a break, move on to some other topics as we continue our conversation with the president of the Mass AFL-CIO, Steve Tolman. Stay with us. Thank you.